In this video, we'll take a look at Brush Studio, which is where we can create, edit, and import brushes. So to make a start, let's take a look at editing a brush. We can do this by tapping on any selected brush within our library. And this is Brush Studio. On the left, we have different categories of options that we can edit, then the various options available within these categories. And on the right side, we have the drawing pad, which allows us to test our brush as we work on it and reflects in real time any of the edits that we make. Here we have some options for our drawing pad, we can clear the pad, we can reset any of the edits that we make to the brush, we can change the size of our preview brush, and some colours for our brush. Orange is nice. The first set of options for our brush is Stroke Path. Here we can change core characteristics of the stroke itself, like spacing or the amount of streamline. Next down is Taper. Here, under Pressure Taper, we have settings for when we're using a pressure-sensitive input, like an Apple Pencil. And here, under Touch Taper, are the same options, but for when using a simple stylus, or painting with a finger. Next down is Brush Shape. Plenty of options on how that brush shape is used, and we can find options to swap or import a different brush shape by hitting the Edit button, just here above the preview. Next, we have the grain of our brush. We can swap or import a different grain, just as with the brush shape. A moving grain can be adjusted from dragging a single stamp right through to a rolling grain along a path. And using texturized grain, we lay down that grain irrespective of the stroke path. Next is rendering. Here we can choose between different rendering modes, as well as wet or burnt edges, and the blend mode for those burnt edges. Next is wet mix, and this is where more painterly effects can be added to the brush. Next down is color dynamics. Here we can affect different aspects of the color in our stroke, either from individual stamps of the brush, or with each unique stroke, or we can set color variations to pressure and tilt. It is worth mention that the value field just beside most of the options can be tapped on and depending on the option we get different methods of control. Just here for example, we can control the hue with a custom pressure curve. Next down is dynamics, where we can change how the speed of a stroke will control both size and opacity. Just here under Apple Pencil, we can change different aspects of the brush in response to both pressure here at the top and tilt further down the list. Here we can set the angle of tilt at which these effects take place. Here under Properties, we can set the min, max, size and opacity for our brush. And now would be a good time to take a look at how Brush Studio differs when creating a new brush from scratch. So, as we leave here, if we'd like to commit these edits, we can hit Done just here, or we can hit Cancel to discard these changes. Now, if we want to create a new brush, or import a brush, then within any brush set, we can tap this plus button. This will launch us straight into Brush Studio, and will start us off with a default brush shape and grain. We can use this import button that wasn't here before to import a brush that we have stored on our device. The other difference here while creating a brush will be found in About This Brush. Just here at the top, we can input a name for our brush. Here we can add a personal image, input our name as the creator, and sign our brush. And lastly, we can create a reset point for our brush, so if we commit any changes in the future that we're not happy with, we can reset the brush back to this point. 